So today we're going to be doing a quick review slash tutorial on the application called Photor. This is a great application for quick photo edits. So let's open that up. What's cool about it is you can edit one photo at a time, you can make a cool collage, or you can apply a bunch of uh, photos at once by making a batch. Let's see how it opens up. So we'll edit one photo real quick. So this is the main look of Photor. As you can see it's very simple, easy to use. Let's drag in a photo real quick. This is a nice photo that I've I took at Santa Cruz, California. It's beautiful out there. So as you can see the first category is scenes. This is more like your typical Instagram um, ways of changing your photo. I particularly don't like all these kind of things, so I'm going to say none. You can do crop, which is really nice. You can crop all sorts of sizes. You can custom size. You can make a cool straighten where it rotates, but it keeps whatever you see in the borders, that's what it's going to look like. It's going to end up being that, which is cool. So let's set that back. You can go to adjust. This is where all the real stuff will happen on the fly. You can set up exposure, lower your brightness, bring up contrast if you want, saturation details you can either blur or sharpen you can do a quick white balance or set custom tones I like a little blue tint it's nice you can add a vignette to the sides if you want You can mess with the highlights or shadows. Or you can do your own curve, which is pretty cool. Only if you're good at curves, I would recommend doing the curves. It helps a lot. You can do all sorts of cool effects. These are also kind of like the scenes but it's not just because you can do a red wash but you can change the intensity so you can mildly add it if you want it of course and there's tons it's classic there's like tons and tons of them which is nice if you like those kind of things, you can add borders if you want to as well. Lots of cool different kind of borders. Uh, you can do this is one of the coolest part. You can t change the f stop right away, which some people don't notice. The f stop is your uh, depth of field and what's going to be in focus. So let's say I like it like that. I can open it up even more. And just change it like F4. As you can see, more things will get in focus. F16. F22 is basically everything is in focus in a way. Or you could keep it original and whatever your camera shot will be that way. Another cool thing is you can add a text if you want. Let's do like a green or yellow a text. Oh. YouTube. You can rotate it. Add some shadow in it. You can place it somewhere else. You you can on it just grab it. Oh. Make it bigger or smaller. And once you're done, if you think this is the way you like it, 
you can compare it to the original without edit by holding the compare and then edit without edit so it's really cool it's quick super simple how to use you can export it to save to computer, send to email, share to Facebook, share to Flickr, or share to Twitter, which is really useful. When you, let's say, you share or save it to your computer, you can change the size custom, quality, you can change some of it to like a TIFF, a BMP, a PNG, or a JPEG, and save it anywhere on the computer you want I'm not gonna save it you can go back home if you want cancel and I'll just go back here so I hope you guys enjoyed this quick review slash tutorial on Fotor uh, you can get this for Windows and Mac it's free um, and it's just simple if you wanna make a quick edit and maybe impress a few clients yeah you don't have to have all the money in the world to get certain applications that can help you out so like if you don't have Photoshop or don't know how to use Photoshop this is like a quick little thing even though it's not as powerful and you can't do as many things of course but this is a great cool way to make your pictures stand out and it's free so in that case, I give it an 8 out of 10 on my review scale because why not? It's free. It works great just the way it says. So I'm glad you, I hope you guys enjoyed and catch you next time, YouTubers.